Hey guys, Justin here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Boss AI toolkit with the AI Behavior toolkit. So first off, we will reparent the Boss base to the BPNPC base of the AI Behavior toolkit. So go to File, Reparent Blueprint, NPC base. Now you'll notice we have a bunch of errors. That's because we have duplicate variables. We need to replace the control, controller ref zero with the original one. Once you've replaced all of those, we can delete that. Now the next thing is to make sure to call the parent uh, events. So right click on this, add call to parent function. Same with event tick. Make sure you connect the parameters as well. And then we need to override event any damage. This is because the NPC base uh, is using event any damage and it's using its own health variables but we don't want to use that we want to use the health from the boss behavior so we override any damage next is we are going to reparent the boss controller to bpaic again we have a duplicate ai perception component so let's go to the original AI perception and add the on target perception updated event. Just reconnect everything else. Delete this. And then we can also delete the AI perception zero. And then we we remove event on possess because this is already in the AIC. Now in the boss behavior component, go to event graph, find the event begin play, and right where it says set new phase, we're going to add a new custom event. Let's call this reinitialize. Oh, reinitialize disconnect the orient and then connect this one instead and then we're going to call this event later on now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the generic ai blackboard by adding a few keys from the from the boss blackboard so we what we want is the has ability, playing ability in combat, circle strafe bullions, and movement mode. So I'm just going to add all of those. For the movement mode, you want to get the key type and type in E movement mode. Now, the reason we added these is because we are going to use the AIBT behavior tree uh, as uh, and we're going to add in the combat logic from the boss AI's behavior tree. So open the boss AI tree and then the generic AI tree. We're going to duplicate this generic AI. Call it BT hybrid AI. We're going to delete everything under attack melee. And then we're going to copy this in combat stuff from the boss AI tree. Paste it here. Doesn't have to be Super aligned. 
like so. So what's going to happen is when the AI is in attack melee, it's going to use the boss AI logic. And since we already added the keys right here, everything should be working once we've pasted everything. See, it uses the keys that we added. Just make sure that they are named exactly the same. Next, we go back to boss base and in the behavior component, change the behavior tree to hybrid AI. Next is we need to add some events from the behavior component. So scroll down. We, we're going to add on begin attack melee and on end attack melee. So on begin attack melee, we're going to call the oops boss behavior, the event we just made called reinitialize. And then in the end attack melee, we're going to call set combat state to false. Now we're going to test this on the boss example, count us. We're going to add a on-site trigger. If it sees the player, we go to attack melee. And then, yeah, that's about it. Now just to test, we'll set the idle type to random location every five seconds. Uh, before that, make sure that the in the boss behavior, the combat trigger is set to after spawn because we're no longer using any of this. We don't want to use any of this to trigger combat. We're using the AIBT in order to trigger the combat. So if we set this to after spawn, as you can see, it's wandering around using the AIBT and when it sees us it should begin attacking you notice there was a bit of a delay there that's because in the boss behavior we have a few delay nodes here this is meant to uh, so when the AI spawns there's a bit of a delay before it attacks we don't need this anymore for because you're using the AIBT. So let's just skip the delays. And so if it sees us, it should immediately attack. There you go. Now, if we enable the parkour system on the Countess AI, sees us should jump over this barricade right here not using the leap there you go if you're wondering why it looked kind of weird that's because I, we didn't have put any jump animation for the countess or any of the bosses don't have jump animations but yeah as you can see it's using the parkour system Now the last thing is to make the health trigger work. So let's go to boss base, take damage, and we're going to call from the behavior component, check health triggers. Because we're using a new health system, you need to do this. So get the health divided by the max health from the boss behavior and then plug that in and so if we add a health trigger to instead of on site instead of on site we add a health trigger of if the health is less than 95% 0 0.95 we are going to attack melee so we need to attack her a few times 
There you go, she attacks. And that is how you integrate the boss AI to AI behavior toolkit. I hope this is helpful. Cheers.